Hello and welcome to Ask Endocrinologist. I'm Dr. Hope and I'm here with Dr. Grace. Hello everyone, good to see you again. So today we're gonna to be talking about why should I use an insulin pump? For those of you that have been following us, please continue to sub follow us, subscribe. Um, we're on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. So please follow us and subscribe so you can have more endocrinology topics brought to you. Um, so why should I use an insulin pump, you might ask? Well, first of all, who, who does it, who qualifies for an insulin pump? So any patient with type one diabetes uh, requires insulin, right? So those patients, all type one patients um, can potentially um, be a good candidate for an insulin, insulin pump. Type two, type two diabetes patients who require insulin can also use an insulin pump as well. So what is an insulin pump? So an insulin pump is a device it's a small computerized device that's attached to your body um, through a small tube. And it is a little smaller than a cell phone. And it can be used to administer short acting insulin on a continuous basis. So the short acting insulin is um, placed, it's in a vial and then it's placed in the pump itself and it stays there until continuously um, and programmed to release a certain amount of insulin every minute um, or continuously. Uh, and then if you actually need to take additional insulin with your meals, uh, there's a preset amount based on the number of carbs that you are going to, to take in. Um, and then you can put in the number of carbs that you're eating for that meal and it will deliver the insulin uh, for that meal. Um, the insulin can be delivered over uh, a, a specified period of time. So, uh, so type one patients, type one diabetes patients can benefit, we said, and patients with um, type two diabetes who are dependent on insulin. And we talked about how it works. So what are some of the advantages of an insulin pump? So an insulin pump, because it delivers continuous insulin and you can accurately um, bolus it with your meals, it actually usually results in a better, better diabetes control. So your hemoglobin A1C, which is the overall three month average of your blood sugars are usually better if you're on an insulin pump. And there's uh, less of a risk of hypoglycemia. Um, so low sugars, because you're giving a more accurate dose of insulin for every meal. Um, it can be adjusted based on if you're going to exercise, you can decrease the amount of insulin um, that you're using because of the increased activity and, um, and, and also decrease your risk of low sugars with an insulin pump if you're gonna exercise. So it really has some, some really great benefits. Um, some of the other benefits is uh, as I said, so instead of taking shots, like the insulin shots, you, you take insulin injections for the long acting insulin, uh, is given usually once a day. And then the three, uh, the, for the three meals, you take another injection for each meal of short acting insulin. So if you're, if you have the insulin pump, there are less injections. Usually the tubing is changed like every three days. Um, in most pumps, and you know that's much less manipulation and much less injections than if you're taking what we call the basal and bolus insulin. So insulin um, overall as a baseline, and then additional insulin with your meals. And and some of the pumps have something called a continuous glucose monitor attached to it. So what that does is it sees your 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 sugars throughout the day and some of the pumps are able to adjust the insulin based on the sugars that they're seeing in the blood. So, and that again is less work for you. It's a pre-programmed amount um, based on the patient's uh, 
based on the patient's known history of blood sugars, based on their weight maybe, and um, also based on the amount of carbs that they would usually eat and how sensitive their body is to insulin. So yeah, the insulin pump I think is a great choice um, for the patients that qualify for it. Dr. Grace? Thank you so much, Dr. Hope. That was very thorough, you see. So uh, as you've heard, we have different types of, um, well, we, there are different types of insulin pump that I'm going, just going to talk to you all about. Majorly, we talk about two main types, which is the tube and the tubeless. And there's only one that is tubeless. The remaining three are tubed insulin pump. So right. the Omnipod right. 5 is the tubeless one. And then the other one, that are the three that, are that have the tubes have the tandem, the highlight, or they call it the highlight bionic, and then we have the metronic. So these other three have tube, which means it looks like infusion set when you go to the hospital. And they, But this type is very tiny, and you can just coil it around, or, but make sure that it doesn't kink. Because if it mm -hmm. kinks, it can prevent your insulin from being delivered to your system. So you want to keep it non-kink. And uh, they are all very easy to use. And they are very, very effective. It just depends on which one you're comfortable using, which one your insurance covers, or which one that uh, is available in your area. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Grace. So as you, you've heard, there are several different options for insulin pump. Um, you can use the insulin pump alone or you can use it attached to a continuous glucose monitor, um, like Dexcom, that's one of them. Or I know Medtronic has their own um, glucose monitor um, called the Guardian 4 as well. So there are many different options for you to help really get control of your blood sugars. So we are, um, you know, we'll definitely be able to answer any questions about insulin pumps. So you can, uh, you can send us messages on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and we'll be happy to answer your questions regarding insulin pumps. Thank you.